In this next group, we are going to be looking at the more vertical lines as well and playing with different angles. So the A is going to start with a light upstroke entrance that is going to be a little steeper than the 55 degrees and we're coming down in the dynamic downstroke along the 55 degrees though. Now this A is a little wide, I'm going to try that again, see in stroke light up and then curve over heavy downstroke along the slant line and end in, uh, in the upstroke. The M also has a light in stroke, kind of like the A, very light, a little steeper, and then we have this almost vertical dynamic stem. And the third leg, look at that first entrance stroke you make and have it parallel. And now look at the dynamic downstroke you make and have it parallel and then come up in the upstroke. So you want the two thick lines to be parallel and the two thin lines to be parallel. Coming up in a light upstroke, a little wider. Ooh, that one is probably a little too steep. And running out of ink. Thank you very much, but I can pull it down. There we go. See, this one looks like it's falling over because those two lines, the thin lines, are not parallel. So sometimes you can add a little swash at the top to distract from the wrong angle, but with a little practice you can get the forms. The N does, the in stroke follows the slant line and then the more than vertical downstroke is a little wider than for the M's and the upstroke follows the slant line again. So what we're looking for is slant, vertical, space, and then up along the slant again. And you can add some brackets to the top or bottom, however you like. That N, that first one was a little too wide. I like that second N a little better. So for the M, we want the slant line to cut through the middle. And the N and A at least have one or two slant lines there. And we want, the again, the spacing to be the same between and inside the letters. <laughs> 